we hear a lot in, in Brussels in discussions that uh, Latin America is in the focus much, of course, of the southern nations, Spain being one, the, one of the leaders in this. What needs to change that, that uh, other countries, uh, Germany included, uh, would be more engaged there? And in what areas? You mentioned oil, energy and one. Um, other suggestions? Yeah, first of all, I, I, I want to refer to what said Daniel about the, the complications to change the overall development policies um, with, with everything being uh, as it is. But I think it could be valuable to have concrete projects which would have a direct impact on the people's daily lives in, in Latin America. Maybe food security on the one hand side or job creation. But also I think what is very appealing for the countries is the Green Deal that the European Union has started. Um, so circular economy or sustainability um, issues are very much appreciated in the country. But beforehand, of course, you have to have these concrete projects because people don't have the money, for example, to, to pay uh, the monthly rent for energy. So it would be important to have cheap energy solutions like solar power, wind power, hydrogen, um, which would give the countries an ability um, on the one hand side to show their people okay you can have a good living and you have the energy and then the other thing is um, in terms of connectivity yeah, that the countries would uh, have the chance to bring to the rural areas that are quite disconnected from the big uh, cities that you would have their um, communication i mean you you need the, the simple satellites there so that the mobile phone works I think these could be concrete uh, projects with the European Union and especially Europe as a promoter of um, green economy uh, could add uh, to these countries. Also, there could be uh, a change in the approach with the countries and so far that the, 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 the contracts become a bit more flexible um, so that they would be adjustable to the needs of the Latin American countries. It doesn't mean to have the big changes, but if a Latin American country has a problem at the moment with some um, standards, you shouldn't be that hard. You'd say, okay, in the future, in five, ten years, we can contract this, you should apply with the standards. But for the beginning of the agreement, not. And I refer to that especially because of the Mercosur agreement that we are waiting for 20 years now to be um, finalized and it has been criticized a lot, um, but I think if you want to push forward with that, you also have to give the Latin American countries something, because the last time we didn't succeed, I'm sorry to say, I, I believe it was because of the European Union, uh, and France and Austria and Ireland that had their obstacles why they wouldn't like to have seen signed the contract. 